All right, this is the impromptu home, sadly home, dissection of this interesting little thing that we found one time while camping. This was burrowed into a piece of firewood, a, a dead log that my brother had bought to throw on the campfire. Um, it's been soaked in water to rehydrate because I was hoping for it to hatch, but instead it died and dried up. I soaked it in water for probably a little too long. We've got a little bit of build up, maybe some mold. Uh, this has been cleaned in rubbing alcohol a couple times now. And I want to know what's in here, so we're going to cut it open and find out. Hope the lighting is good. Got like every lamp in my house going. It's very warm in this little part of the house. The, uh, you can see the designs on the inside. Though there is something, there's something indeed in there. The video's not too close, I'm getting a blurry. Um, parts of, parts of limbs starting to form on the inside. There's obviously the, the head. Trying to use as much lay language as possible. Some parts of the inside starting to leak out. Uh, it's not a completely enclosed uh, pupa, segmented, a large abdomen. The abdomen is like this entire portion. It's assuming the development matches. Almost hard to discern the, uh, the head from the tail. The back end has several little spiky protrusions, uh, but these right here look like wings. I'm under working under the assumption that this is the front, and this is the head. We'll find out. Hopefully this is a pretty dissection, and I don't just cut it open and it's a bunch of mush. I wish I didn't have to wear gloves, but I don't know what this thing is. I'm gonna try and tease it apart. The pupa in like half development. Can't tell what's part of the casing and what's part of the final form. See the wings. Hello. This is burrowed really, really deep in a log. Here's the wings. This is part of the case. Yeah, got wings right here. Oh, inter <coughs> interesting design on them. I'll loosen them up some more. And this, like, it's confusing because this is exactly how it came out of the log. It's like he's, he's half formed already. Had antennas on the outside, just like this. This is exactly how it came out of the log. It's interesting. So yeah, that's definitely the head side of the other. Also the inside starting to get out. The little orange bits. So 
look like his legs. He was in mid transition. Because I'm guessing the glues would have fused to the casing. And then all of his insides would have been sucked inside and started re combining. But you can see the legs here are fused. He's fusing to himself. Okay. The inside there may form. I'm guessing that his wings also would have been just sucked into the case and reformed. I don't know if I can get a good view of one of these suckers. His outer exoskeleton from wings, he is a beetle. Or a bug, or I'm guessing he was a beetle, he's got wings. Wings patterned. One that I'm not particularly familiar with. He was interrupted sometime in the middle of his metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. I don't know what we're going to find a name for. I don't have a proper scalpel. I have this little, little thing that came in like a first aid kit. More of his legs are fused. Put down a medium center line. I can hear my computer still working. Sorry if you can too. And a stitchy cut up to the head. <clears throat> My legs that were fused. Mandibles. It's all exoskeleton. Oh, look at that. Okay, so the new antennas were forming right inside the old. Uh, this is new antenna. And I can only assume that his new legs were forming inside the, uh, the old legs as well. His head is uh, smaller with kind of a little no parts. Exoskeleton. And there we go. This is what I wanted to do. Just fuse away the old to reveal the new. Okay, the last the last segment of that leg is in the in the old one. And his his antenna that I just freed up is feathered. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm thinking a moth. Some kind of a moth is what we're looking at. From beetle to moth. He really just interrupted it. More of the old exoskeleton. Let's fade up another one of these legs. I don't know if the legs just folded right in. The old ones. You find this gross? Why are you watching my video? <laughs> this is awesome. I 
hope I don't run out of record time. I'm trying to watch it. Okay. Aww. Well, we get the idea. They were just wet one of these uh, new legs up inside one of the old. Not gonna be too pretty. Obviously, the pigment probably didn't have a lot of time to form. Okay. That would have been another leg. Apologies. And underneath the wings is the last leg. There it is. Yeah, that's one. It's just like a little sleeve on top of the nail. Oh, well, he's been soaked, so it's safe to assume that he's not entirely connected. Yeah. Okay, so back legs. Um, let me get a good view of the back leg. Segmented neck, a whole lot of fuzzy on it. So legs connecting into this middle part. Of course, that's just a zoom fit. I'm, oh, I can only assume that these, we don't have any new wings formed. Get the old back off. Oh, no, no, no. This one? No, that's new. New exoskeleton. Kind of softer. Ooh. Barely poke into the abdomen. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, okay. Some time between the soaking and moving. That slightly cut in half. Ooh. All right. Trying to adjust the brightness. Uh, now I just sorry to take a phone call. Let's try and get. I think it's looking better. A little less contrast going on. Um, so we cut into him while he fell apart, I guess. And we've got nice, interesting insides. So now what you guys can see, it's kind of looks cheesy, kind of yellowish. Inside the abdomen here, and there's no real. Uh, I'm not seeing any new exoskeleton actually in the abdomen area. Maybe further down a little bit, we might have some for just old segments. I to peel just the old off. But I don't know if that's going to be possible. So, yellowy, cheesy looking. Um, some definition. Little, little crystal y things. Maybe eggs. I don't know if we're in that part of the abdomen. Do caterpillars go into metamorphosis with eggs inside of them? I couldn't rightly tell you. I'm fascinated in bugs, but not a uh, degree entomologist. So yellow cheesy, blocky little pieces of innards. And like little rocks. Kind of like um, pomegranate seeds. To some degree. Some little compartments. 
this is the abdomen. Trying to get some dark colors popping up. It looks like a long. It's just more a little. They aren't. Doesn't seem to exactly have uh, backbone. It's all filled with a little compartment. It's a little cheesy, cheesy box. I don't know exactly what was in the abdomen. And if these are if these are indeed eggs or what have you. They look egg like. I think it's maybe just like a hundred kidneys. <laughs> Yeah, maybe before I did this, I should have consulted with like bird anatomy. Makes me wish I had a little spoon and not just a safety pin. I wonder what this would have looked like before it dehydrated. I wish I hadn't been drying out. It was a pupa and I didn't know exactly what he needed as long as it left him in a, a water bottle that I had poked some holes in. It wasn't like he suffocated. He must have got any water in there. I mean, pupa form, I didn't exactly think that he would need water. I left him underneath my cabinet because he was in the log. Like maybe he likes the dark. Let's see the little inner bits sticking together. And there's my other pussy bands. I don't think there's a whole lot else in the abdomen here. I mean, who knows, with these little segments of things, that might just be what his organs do to move around when he's performing the metamorphosis. I'll read up and hopefully there'll be, hopefully there'll be some building text boxes right about now that are actually explaining what these things are. Since I've done the research. Nope, self. Do a dissection, do any kind of science experiment, do your research beforehand, not after the fact. Just more like compartments and yellowy, orangey, chunky things. More and more and more. <clears throat> Let me grab something and we'll pin it down and just cut it open. When you don't have a proper dissecting pan, you can always use an eraser.
the afternoon. Because it's uh, now I'm missing a couple segments. Start. I wish I had uh, also proper dissecting pens. And this, I'm going to have to buy a dissecting kit. This is one thing that I just feel like I should have laying around. Because who doesn't need a dissecting kit? I'm going to try not to wash the light with my hands. I'm also trying to not flood it. I also wish I had tinier scissors, but we have these, so small as I have, I don't even have nail scissors, so I'm prepared I am for a tiny little protection for the bug. Need more pens. Please not stay still. So, What I was having to cut through old exoskeleton. And we've got more herbs. Hmm. It goes on up here nicely. And I can see that this back part of the that part of the end is pretty much empty and dried out. So this is molded. Yeah, he definitely sat in water for too long. I'm guessing this is what the back of the abdomen might have been, or maybe it was actually the old exoskeleton that he was going to be using, and he just hadn't had time to properly form enough. But you can see it's cheesy. A little bit. So, I'll do my research. You'll see little things popping up probably about now. Explaining the results of said research. Explaining what these are. Hopefully, if I decide to publish this video, I might look at the quality of the video and decide it's terrible. Hopefully, I can adjust that. I'm, it makes me wonder online. You can, you can buy. I mean, obviously, you have to buy dissecting kits. Uh, proper dissecting kit obviously has got a tray. Uh, the ones that I always had in school seem to be either black or blue, and a rubber mat that fits inside them that can be removed for cleaning. Uh, that rubber mat, as it gets older. Um, obviously becomes full of holes because you pin everything directly to that mat that goes into the tray. Um, this is just explaining for those of you who have never had the pleasure of seeing a proper dissecting setup, uh, dissection setup. I don't remember if it was the ones in college or the ones in high school, but the dissecting trays were so old. Um, I don't know what original color they were, but they had turned black. And they were kind of, I don't know if I would say greasy is the right word. But they were, whew, they were in some sad state. And I used really, really nice newer dissection trays that were blue. The mat was blue, it was perfect, pristine, which I had no holes in it yet. And then your toolkit comes in a separate little box. 
and you'll have a scalpel. Um, a pair of tinier scissors with a finer point. You'll have a thicker pair of scissors with more of like a... Like imagine if it was a bird, a beak that could crush nuts instead of like pick seeds out of flowers. More of a broad blades. Much more broad blades, so more of a pair of scissors. Obviously smaller um, than these, but it's a really needle point. You have several pins. The scalpel is the big one. And I can't remember if there's. God, it's been so long since I worked at a proper dissection kit. But I'll be posting a link if you're curious or if you, for any reason, want to buy a dissection kit. You can see the one that I'm probably going to be getting once I find it and then get. So, bug parts everywhere. Looks like a sad battlefield. Let's try and tackle the thorax slash head a little bit more now that we've got a little something to pin him on. But yeah, the in a pinch, uh, a high polymer eraser or even a pink eraser would work just fine. So this is just me trying to get him situated. Onto what I would almost call the stage. <laughs> Just gotta get him anchored. Clipping. And also, this makes it easier for display. Let me see what I'll be going on. Thing number one on that side. So, also, proper dissection pins are. Gosh, I don't know how they're smaller than they are. Smaller in diameter. I feel like they must be. They also have a T top. And I think they are quite a bit smaller diameter than uh, your everyday safety pin. The inner wings. About. Also, I would give. I would give a lot right now for a proper dissection. You can see the legs that I'm having to fight against are also in there. Wings. It's a thin membrane covering the wing. Look at that there. Very thin membrane. Kind of got it. Exoskeleton, old exoskeleton. Very, very thick. Let's see. So it's no wonder that this guy, uh, for his metamorphosis, he decided to burrow into a log rather than risk uh, the great outdoors. Oh, there's more of the old skeleton. And then the wing covering. Yeah, he did have a covering. The old wing uh, turned into the new, prettier design ones. But I've never really seen a moth or really anything for this matter with this this particular design on that wing. I mean, as far as I know, the log and this guy came from southern Missouri. My brother, I guess it was my brother's friend, had some logs that he was just, you know, saving for burning. My brother got them and brought them to our camping trip. So, 
This guy must be a native of Southern Missouri. Or maybe a guest. I'm just you know, putting all the little words on this dish. Yeah, I'm just beginning to call the section tools. This is a uh, lid. Uh, it's my cup of crackers. You do what you gotta do. This is the, uh, the back of the head covering. The old exoskeleton. New hind leg. We start, or uh, yeah, the new hind leg is starting to dry off. And it looks like it does have some fuzz on it, which fits with the moth theory. This guy is a moth. This is the, um, the other back leg. Both of them sadly detached. They didn't come off very nicely. I still have this <clears throat> old skin covering. This is the back legs, for, uh, for reference. And returning to the thorax and head. I'm part of the abdomen. So, this is new, new abdomen. Same kind of innards, legs. New wings. There's not much more to do with this guy. We do discover the antenna. And I'm relatively certain he's a moth. Some kind of winged. I can only assume night, night preferring bug, insect, and proper language. Describing skin, finger leg. So we had six, now he has three and a half. Sorry. He definitely soaks with the one. Do we want to cut him open further? I mean, we've discovered what he wants. Probably let him dry. Uh, see if his color changes at all. I'll take some pictures. It's just interesting. I wonder how small his new abdomen actually would have been. Is this compared to his wing size? Is unless his wings are undeveloped. Um, abdomen huge compared to wingspan. Never seen a moth. A tiny wingspan. And the wings do not feel mothy. They're not fluffy. They're Kind of fleshy and unadorned. Sorry, you can see that. Uh, the wings. No fluffy. Like a moth. Well, he obviously didn't have time to get too fuzzy, unfortunately. I really would have loved to see what this guy was going to be. Oh, that makes me sad. I don't know if you can see the eyes, uh, pretty compound. <laughs> it's kind of scary. In a good way. It's just a bug. Let's see if adjusting the light helps. Maybe. You know, that helps or not. Some crazy ass There we go. I don't know if that's helping or hindering. <laughs> this is my laptop that I'm recording with, unfortunately not a proper webcam. So that's sadly the like the finished product is rather sad. This is why you do your research kids and have proper tools and equipment. <laughs>
anyway. I guess I'll throw this up on Facebook. I'll probably have lots of text over with more information and goodies thrown in. It'll be my day off project. So good. Anyway, thank you for watching. And I hope that all of the added content that I put in in the editing process makes this video a whole lot better. Thank you.